Go. What do you want? Go away. Go away. Go! Right, this is your new owner, and this is your new home, which is a farm which dogs are supposed to enjoy, so bugger off and leave me alone. <laughs> All I'm saying is... Five minutes, I'm just popping out. Oh, go oh, get off. Don't have to walk onto school, I know the way. Peter, you're my responsibility until I deliver you to Miss Glasson, at which point you become her responsibility, finally. Class from Chris? No. Wash your hands after touching that. Four is good to build up your immune system. Just... See Mark Milo on the phone. Tell him there's a dangerous dog on the loose. I want him caught and put to sleep.
With his faithful hound at his side, the prince journeyed for days on end. Come on, boy. It's all right. No, get that dog out of here. It's not a zoo. Raise my guide dog. I'm blind. Uh... He obviously needs more training. Bad dog. Say hello to the doctor. This is Princess Tinkle. She's the show dog. Not in my surgery, thank you. Dogs are full of disease. Oh. Go away. Oh. That thing is not mine. That isn't what I was told. Out! 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 The, the problem is he's become a little too friendly with my dog. no way of knowing. No, 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 no. Come on, uh, Pony, control this child. Who let that dog in here? Where's my arm? Yeah, back there, but no longer top banana. Boyfriend. Get that dog out of my reception. As soon as you've dealt with Louisa. Get out. Get, get that out. It, it can stay out here, but it can't come in the surgery. It's against the law. All right. Come on, buddy. We know when we're not wanted. Yes. Yes. Oh! Get gone! Get the dog away from me! Go oh, look what your dog's doing. This is a minefield of bacteria. Next thing you know, you'll be having a miscarriage. Are you sure? How's the process? Well, my bones may be brittle, but I am intact. But I'm a bit worried about Buddy. I think he might have cracked a rib. You're suggesting I should examine your dog? Well, could you just run a hand over his midrib? Yes, I could if I was a vet. I'm not. A complete waste of my time. What's that doing here? I've got an official request concerning your canine. Can I have him for a bit? It's not my dog. Well, technically, you inherited him from Joan. The thing is, I'm planning on bringing our department into the 21st century. Just get it out of here. Right. I'll take that as an affirmative. <laughs> don't you want to know what his job's going to be? Of course I don't. Sniffer dog. Oh, he's good at that. <laughs> don't wait. Stay. Stop. Wait. You're aiding in the back the criminal.
Get out. Buddy, no, buddy! Oh, Come back here, you little bugger! Quick answer. through the diaphragm. Oh, you've got about another 30. That's not the point, is it? That's the second one. Well, I didn't want you to keep the surgery door closed. Not an it, it's a he. And you'll give him a complex. It's been neutered. It has no usable gender. Get in your basket. You filthy, stinky little... Buddy, in your basket. Go on. There, now shut up. In here, must you? Go on, get out. Honestly. Come on, this way. Well, my mother used to rub some whiskey onto my gums. That doesn't surprise me. She's a dipsomaniac. No, she's not, Martin. In your basket. Anyway, it was just a thought. You know, I've got my client. Oh, ah! Finally succumbed to his charms, I see. I'm glad you opened your heart to him. Get that dog out of here, Morwenna. He seems so much better. I think he should wear the bracelet again today. Really? Where is it? Why is it not there? Oh, buddy. Mm. Look, so cheeky. Buddy, good boy. That's it. Give it to me. Buddy, buddy, come on, come on. Give it here. Come on, buddy. Oh, no. For God's sake. Oh, Martin, I'll do this. You should go and speak to Mrs. Tusher before the surgery starts. Get these dogs out of here. You go away. Uh, uh, Mrs. Sim, can you hear me? It's Dr. Ellingham. Penhale, uh, get up to the house and get a stretcher or something to carry her on. And uh, Penhale, take, take these dogs away. No. It's not a request, Dr. Ellingham. It's a non-negotiable requirement of the GMC following your tribunal hearing. So please, lead the way.
Get off there. Good morning, James. Beach. What's in your pocket? Needles, Morrison. Get out. No, oh, he's just concerned about me. Oh. It's lovely he's back in the house, though, isn't it? Hmm. So this blood test will let us know if you've ovulated or not by measuring the amount of progesterone in your blood system. It's backing up out here, Doc. Uh, no. Get out! No, 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 don't shout at him, Morrison. He's been a bit off colour all morning, he hasn't touched his breakfast. Both of you. What's that on the floor? It probably looks like a human finger. 